Hi guys and welcome again to this tutorials for beginners in AutoCAD. In this video I will show you three very basic commands from the section modify. They are move, copy and rotate. I will start with the command move. It's very simple. So I will type M or click in the button over there. I will select the object, press enter. Now I will pick a point, this one for example, and now I click again to put the object in the new position. This time I will move it 500 to the right of the end point. Now I will show you the command copy. This time I will type CO or copy. It works as the same way as the command move, the only difference is that keeps the original objects. This time I will choose this base point and I can copy the objects to where I want. So I will copy them to a distance of 500 to the left. Now I will show you another and very useful way of the copy command. So we will activate the command again, select all the objects, press enter and select the base point. Now, if you look to the command bar, it says specify second point or array. So I will type A to activate that. And here I have to enter the number of items to array. I will put 5. Ok, so you can see on the screen that we will have 5 items displayed in a row. And, this is very important, with the same distance between each other. I will specify 2000 for the distance. Ok, finally I'm going to show you the command rotate. So we are going to type RO or rotate. I select the objects and press enter. I'm going to specify a base point, for example this. I can rotate a figure around that point. So I can click somewhere, for example here. Now imagine that we want to rotate a figure to the position that it was before. So if we do the same process, now we pick a point, our reference line will not be horizontal this time and when we place the object it will not be with precision. This means that we have to use a different way. Ok, we are going to repeat all the process again. And when we have to specify the base point, we are going to type R for reference. So I will pick two points for specifying a reference line. The first one will be this, and the second this another. So with this way, I can rotate around this line. And to make it horizontal, just use the polar mode. For example, now it says polar, I can click. As you see, the figure is finally straight. So this was the basics about these tools. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!